This video is sponsored by Decenio. Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my first ever Ikea hack. I am so excited. I have the very popular Tarva 6 drawer dresser, and I'm gonna be trying to make this thing look like a $3,000 restoration hardware dresser. I hope I can do this. So if you guys wanna see this makeover, just keep watching. So I built my first piece of Ikea furniture. It really was not that bad. It took me like about two hours. I feel like I could knock it out really fast. Next time, my son helped me a little bit. If you like Legos, you'll love building Ikea furniture. So this is the Tarva 6 dresser. It retails for $179. So we're gonna make it a little bit more fancy. I've bought some trim. I'm gonna try to give it a oak wash of color. So it's gonna be an experiment, you guys. I don't know how it's gonna go. We're gonna roll with the punches, but there are a lot of people who have made these over on Instagram and YouTube, and they're just so beautiful. I will include some of my favorites here for you guys. So let's jump in and do this. So this is what I'm gonna trim my drawers out with. I think trimming it out is gonna give it more of that look of the framed look from my inspiration piece. So this is pine lattice and I just got it at Home Depot. You buy it by the linear foot. So I'm gonna use my miter saw and cut some angles and trim every single drawer out. So with my miter saw, I have this stand that makes it really easy to adjust where I'm cutting. So I was able to just measure one time, set up exactly where I wanna cut it, and then I'm just going boom, 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 and knocking all these out. Okay, so the next pieces I need are a lot shorter for the side trim. So my guardrail here isn't gonna work, but I can actually use this uh, ruler that I have right here on the miter saw, and I'm just gonna line this up and cut all these pieces to be eight and three quarters. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut, and in case you're wanting to do this in the future so you don't have to measure, the long pieces from end to end are gonna measure 29 and a quarter inches. And then the shorter pieces are eight and three quarters from end to end. And all of these cuts are a 45 degree cut. So these are a little rough, so I'm gonna take my sander to them and smooth them down before I apply them to the dresser. I'm gonna start with a 120 sandpaper and then finish it off with a 220. I'm gonna take a quick break from my project to tell you about today's sponsor, Decenio. Their site has become one of my favorite places to find art. They offer trendy, high quality Scandinavian prints and frames, and they update their collection regularly, so there really is something for everyone and every style. Decenio ships to countries worldwide, including the US within four to seven days. So all my frames and prints showed up right to my door and they were really easy to assemble. It's the perfect time to try them out because right now they're having their mid season sale where you can get 45% off your posters and 10% off frames. And for being a follower of Pretty Distressed, you can get an extra 10% off your prints right now using the code pretty underscore distressed. I love the variety of sizes that they have and they have a very cool feature on their website called their gallery wall tool where you can choose your different prints and see how they're gonna look on the wall. I was really drawn to a lot of the graphic art prints. So I picked some in some neutral colors and some black and whites that are really gonna go well with my furniture makeovers and help me with staging. I will be styling today's makeover with these gorgeous prints and I can't wait to see what that looks like. But right now I am going to restyle my mantle. This fireplace is a hot mess, you guys. I just never know what to do here. I have like 10 million things up here right now. I just want this look to look simple and sophisticated. And these prints are gonna make that happen. I love this large print one. It's gonna anchor the whole space. And then adding these other prints is just gonna give that flair of sophistication that I need in here. Oh my goodness, that is so much better. And stick around to the end because I'm gonna be styling my piece with some of these beautiful prints. Okay, so this dresser comes with these dinky little pools. We are upgrading that. I have these long bars that are gonna look really similar to my inspiration piece. So I'm just gonna be using some DAP plastic wood, professional wood filler and filling these holes. This is becoming one of my favorite fillers recently because you can sand it in 15 minutes 
and I'm very impatient and I don't like to wait for my filler to dry for hours and hours, so I'm really loving this one. So my wood filler's dry, so I'm gonna sand back all that wood filler I put in there and I'm just gonna scuff sand the whole piece just to prepare it for when I stain it later. Okay, there's a couple of ways you could apply this. I'm actually just gonna use wood glue. If you were worried about this falling off at all, you could do some brad nails in here. I don't wanna do that because I'm thinking down the road, I'm gonna wanna refinish this again and having just the wood glue, it'll be easier to pry those off. So you do what works best for you. And then while this dries, I'm gonna clamp this on here so it'll stay nice and secure. I obviously have lots of clamps. If you only had two clamps, you could just do one piece at a time and wait for it to dry and move it around. But the more clamps you have, the faster this is gonna go. This wood glue is paintable, but you don't wanna have big globs like that. So I'm just taking a rag and getting rid of any excess. All right, welcome back to day two. I got a lot done yesterday. I am feeling encouraged. This is starting to look like a new piece. We're transforming it. The next thing I'm gonna do, I wanna modernize the feet to match my inspiration piece. So I have marked off an angle on them and I'm gonna cut them at an angle to make them look more modern. So these feet come off really easily, which is good for, for cutting them. So I've just made like a template of how I wanted my foot to look. I have my settings all set up on my saw. And so I just placed this, lined it up, marking it here, putting my little X so I know where I'm gonna cut. We're gonna take it over to the saw and we're gonna cut it. Two things I did last night while you were gone, I tested out my colors. So I had three colors that I did here. This is Burlap by Dixie Belle. This is uh, Pop the Bubbly by Country Chic and then Dixie Belle Sandbar. I compared them to my inspiration photo. The one that's definitely the closest is the Sandbar. So this is the one I'm gonna go with. Also last night, I filled the seams in my trim. You will get little tiny holes that won't exactly be put together. So to make it look nice and seamless, I grabbed some of this natural plastic wood, just put that in here. This takes about two to six hours to dry. So that's why I did it last night. So this is ready to sand and then we're gonna be ready to paint. to stain today. I like to do this for two reasons. You get a more consistent finish. You're not working with an oil-based stinky uh, product and those rags are flammable when you're done working with them. So I just like to get a consistent color with paint. Normally I thin it down a lot and I wipe it back. I'm not gonna do that because I wanna cover up a lot of these knots because I want this to look less like pine and more like oak. So I'm just gonna water this down a little bit and I'm gonna put it on full strength. stressful part of a makeover for me when I have to drill new holes for hardware. There's lots of math involved. This little template that I have helps. So I have this guide set up to drill my holes in, I'm trying to make them as level as possible. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, I have the hardest part done. I have all the hardware holes drilled. I have this long black hardware that's gonna match my inspiration piece, but we need to tweak the color just a little bit. And I have some of this antique pewter spray. I really love using this on hardware. It holds up really well. So we're going to make these pewter now. I decided to go with General Finishes High Performance and Flat. This is a water-based top coat. I have this on my kitchen table and it's held up really well for me. So I am gonna use this on this dresser because this is going in my son's room and he's a little crazy. So we're gonna protect this thing really nicely with this. I'm gonna do most of the flat surfaces with this sponge. It's really great and applies top coat really fast. I'm just gonna mist it a little bit and get it damp before I put the top coat on it. Senio prints are gonna go perfectly with this piece. I'm really excited to use them for styling. I am so excited with how this turned out. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to do this, but this really looks like my inspiration piece and I totaled everything up and with the dresser and my wood and my supplies, I spent about $360 on this piece Compared to the 3,500 of my inspiration piece, I would say that is a huge win. Thanks you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed this project. I will be back next week with another project and I will see you guys next time.